afternoon this is Andy Farmer with Marine Max Wrightsville Beach I'm gonna do a video walkthrough today with you on a 2012 350 Sundancer uh, this boat does have the rumble seat so you'll see that uh, the compartment on the back drops down and turns into a seat let me just kind of scroll through the cockpit while I'm grabbing the seat and pulling it out and I'll step back and give you a check out the seat this Ray did a great job of uh, designing this boat so it could be used from the transom. You've got a rumble seat, dive ladder or swim ladder off the back. This boat has underwater lighting, so just painting the picture of sitting here at anchor on the, in, the, in the evening with the underwater lights on. You've got a couple rod holders up here where you could uh, do a little trolling or, um, you know, sitting there at anchor and drop some bait out uh, for fishing. Uh, it has a wet bar. There is a refrigerator here. And then got the cabin door open. Let me just pull this shut. Nice, easy, smooth rolling. But you got steps leading right up through a walkthrough windshield to access your bow area here. Boat does have windlass, has a remote spotlight and fender holders up here. Just going to do a quick spin around. You see Ray Marine radar mass light up there and then take a look at the cockpit you got a companion seat and then a double helm seat with flip up bolsters Let's see if i can get and then spinning around axis joystick that's going to give you autopilot that's going to give you the sky hook which is gps anchoring if you're pulling up to the marina and want to get your fenders set you hit the sky hook button and it's going to hold you there um, also has a uh, great complete package ray marine electronics and i mentioned the radar antenna up top obviously it does uh convey to the screen also has gps chart plotter and the depth sounder module on this boat so it does have a transducer that's going to give you uh, fish finding capabilities as well as just reading your depth uh, ray marine vhf radio just scroll through the dash here real quick you got smart craft vessel view there's your axios controls trim tabs this is digital throttle and shift as well so everything is controlled or transmissions are controlled and throttles by those single levers back here a little slow mo across through the upholstery upholstery is in good shape I don't see any kind of nicks or scrapes or tears but is kept with a mooring cover on it the majority of the time colder months the owner does have a full enclosure from the windshield up to the top and from the back drops down to the aft uh, the canvas is original Ozen glass is going on about three years and he again uses it three or four months out of the year got hot and cold shower there you got some storage underneath this companion here's your battery switches your main controls for your battery switches so it's very convenient getting on and off the boat uh, these switches down here are for the underwater lights that I was telling you about there's three that are under the water there are two that are on the transom of the boat. Check out the photos of this boat lit up with the underwater lights at night. Stepping down below, this boat came with the upgraded or comes with the upgraded wood floor down below. That's great because you're coming from the deck with wet shoes and you've got a nice wood floor. Um, this is an electric uh, articulating bed. Um, so it is in the flat position now and you have a good you know, you know someone six foot better is going to have plenty of room to stretch out on this bed uh, the controls are right there and that'll set this bed up um, what it acts like is your recliner on the boat that's a good place to wake up in the morning and grab a cup of coffee and uh, check your your emails at work or set it up to do that scrolling around to the galley um, medium cherry interior 
solid surface counters. You've got a refrigerator here. This boat does have the refrigerator drawer there as well. Some storage, two burner stove. This is a pull-out sofa. Uh, it is in the sofa form now, but it does slide out. You can sleep two in the forward berth. You've got one that can sleep here comfortably, maybe two, two children. And then you got a conversation area back here. And that does convert into a berth as well that can sleep too. Here's your TV DVD for the mid berth. This is flat screen TV for the cabin. And it does have a remote DVD player. Quick shot of your panels. We've got a Kohler generator. Uh, it looks like it's uh, five, 105 hours. Quick shot of your breaker panel. Spinning around. There's your countertops the other way. Do you got port light there over on the starboard side? And we've got natural light that can come in through these uh, owner when he's away. Keeps keeps some cover to keep the UV light out. But this the 35 dancer does have more natural light than the uh, 340 dancers and or just the sun dancers of, of old. Coming in to the head here, you've got a sink vanity with a with a, a sink, and then you've got a separate shower head. So you're not having to pull the sink fixture faucet out and use that as your shower as well. You got a designated shower here, um, vacuum flush head, and again additional flooring in the in the head. Just a nice touch of touch of glass. I think that covers it in here for a quick video walkthrough. Again, woodwork's in good shape. Um, upholstery down below is in good shape. Coming back up. Double helm seats. These just flip down. Plenty of room there. side walk through windshield wet bar again guys this is andy farmer with marine max and rice beach this is a very nice 2012 350 sun dancer please call to set up an appointment to see it in person or if you have any questions 910-264-4818 again 910-264-4818 is the best way to reach me Y'all have a good afternoon. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.